Today, most fiber optic Ethernet channels operate at 10 gigabits per second or less over a pair of multimode optical fibers, one for transmit and one for receive. The connector of choice for these channels is a duplex LC type connector on active electronic ports as well as those in the physical cable plant. In the LC connector, one fiber acts as a transmit and the other as a receive. These pairs are often combined in trunk cables of 12, 24, or even much higher fiber counts using cassettes that combine and split out the pairs or other passive branching devices. Some power users prefer 192 or even 432 fiber trunks to save space in their path. Stepping up in data rate to 40G and beyond requires a different physical architecture. Because 40G channels are composed of four parallel duplex channels, a total of eight fibers, the preferred connector interface is now the MPO type multiple fiber connector. This connector contains one or more multiple rows of parallel fibers, usually in multiples of 12 fibers. A single row MPO connector would transmit over eight of the 12 fibers at 40G while leaving the remaining four dark. Multiple channels can be combined on higher fiber count MPOs, for instance three 8 fiber 40 gigabit per second channels can be combined over a single 2 row 24 fiber MPO connector without abandoning any of the fibers in the connector or associated trunk cable. The next step in Ethernet communication 100G takes the parallel 10G methodology a step further, combining 10 parallel duplex channels over 20 fibers to form 100 gigabit connections. The connector of choice in this case is a two-row 24 fiber MPO connector in which 20 of the 24 fibers are utilized and the four outermost fibers remain dark.